Welcome to this video about Two Point Campus. This is Campus Administrator I Simulate. I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. Subscribe to my channel if you are also a simulation game lover. The fourth campus is Noble's Dead. We all are asked to preserve the traditions of knighthood and defend the campus. Until now, with every map, the game offers something new. Let's see what we are going to get this time. This is a night school, and we are going to start with 10 students in the first year. We need a battleground. It needs to be placed outdoor. I like this idea. Let me put this combat training station in the middle. Let me also place the bin, an archery target, and a dummy. Next, as always, we need a lecture theater. After building the dorm, student lounge, bathroom, shower room, staff room, private tuition room, student union, and library, we successfully spent a lot of money and raised our campus level to 3. We are not done yet. We need to hire a good teacher, several assistants, and janitors. I like the smoothie kiosk and the ramen kiosk. Water coolers and social tables are also important. One more teacher is required who can give private tuitions while the other is teaching. So now we have two teachers, four assistants, and two janitors. We can start the year. Here comes a new room type. Every campus that is noble and good should provide medical care, as student knights may injure themselves. The solution is a medical office and a qualified assistant. New room unlocked. A medical office costs 25000 I'm putting it close to the main door, near the battleground. It should be equipped with this Omnicure machine. I should not forget to hire assistant Carl, who has this first aid qualification, and I'm assigning him to work in the medical office only. I'm glad I still have 7000 cash. To become a one-star campus, we have to cure 5 medical issues, raise attractiveness rating to 75%, have 10 b grade night school classes, and remove 15 invaders. And here are our students. Look at them. Their skills may need polishing, but their armors are already polished, I suppose. Yolanda is going to the medical office. She has something called the freshest flu. Let's see how this is getting treated. She receives a scan in the Omnicure, which is also producing the right elixir in parallel. It seems it doesn't taste good, but Yolanda's health is improving. Blackguard Invasion Alert! Three invaders are coming to our campus. We need janitors qualified in security. The invaders are already doing damage to my campus. Amy Peach, we need you! I'm taking you right in front of an invader here. Now put your qualification to use. This is a fantastic demonstration of how to skillfully use a water gun. One down, two more to go. Soon there's only one invader remaining. Oh, there's not enough water in the gun. But our janitor quickly reloads and follows the last invader into our student union. You're not invited to the party. Leave the premise now. The more successful the campus becomes, the harder the invasions will be. Going forward, we have to hire and train more janitors with a security qualification. Invasion itself may not be a good thing, but successfully handling one earns us 10,000. This greatly eases our financial situation. The very first battleground lesson is taking place. This is how you slash. This is how you step. Beautiful! Looks like I should place more dummies as a couple of students are idle. Previously in our earlier campuses, we had the power nap club and the speed walking club. This time I'd like to have the book club. Members of this club learn faster, which is a very good thing. Great! Many students sign up and soon someone is asking for the level 1 object, book warm. Now I have a bit more cash, I can offer some entertainment facilities in the campus. It's my job to keep the students happy. Nothing strikes fear into a night like a forecast for light rain. Exposure to rain causes rusty bulge. Okay, so putting the kiosk and book club objects outdoor is not a good idea. Please come inside. As we approach the end of the first year, our average grade is B+, and the students are very happy. Our two invaders are here. I'm hiring one more janitor with a security qualification. Soon, the two invaders are taken care of, and we get another 10,000. Lovely! To progress to the second year, our campus needs a jousting field and one more battleground. After building the battleground, we cannot afford the jousting field. Let me check the different finance options. I'd go for the swindles. I'm curious to see what the jousting field looks like. It again belongs outdoor and needs to be at least 12 times 8 grids big. Otherwise, this jousting track cannot fit. There are also these tents and more dummies. 
Another important room is the training room. It costs forty thousand, which is something. Luckily, I took out a loan of one hundred thousand from Swindles instead of only fifty thousand from Two Points Bank. I think we are ready now. Let's start next year. The first thing I do when a year starts, if I have enough money, is to schedule events. So our campus will throw an SU party in October, show sci-fi theme in November. Events increase students' happiness. It's good to have them in the first half of the year, so that students are happy from early on and can perform better. I will plan more events as the year progresses. And then I want to train more janitors in security for obvious reasons. A class is taking place in the jousting field. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the student knights mount horses, and then they battle with lances along the jousting track. Ouch! Now I understand why the campus needs a medical office. Some students need a dragon tower to complete their assignments. We need to research it before we can build it. Hmm, it's a challenge given our current cash flow situation. Sorry, guys. I suppose you cannot complete your assignments this time. Our campus hasn't made enough money yet. We are still in the rocky startup phase of this playthrough. Nevertheless, we do have money to schedule events. I'd invest in keeping my students happy so they do well in their studies. In April, I have accumulated some cash. I can build a research lab now. Our first research topic is royal dummies. They are needed by some students to complete their assignments. What I should also do is to hire one more teacher who can work in the research lab. By the end of the second year, we are quite close to acquiring our first star. We just need three more invaders. To accommodate an extra jousting field, we need to expand and buy plot number two. This time, we don't put up any buildings. Just deliver an empty plot, please. A night school needs a lot of outdoor space. This winter break, we invite the honor rollers to perform. Our students love them. And then we got the first star. Two new campuses are unlocked. And we can set up a new club called the Nature Club. It increases our campus attractiveness. Finally, we have completed the research on royal dummies. Now we can place the princess dummy and the prince dummy in our battlegrounds. Our financial situation is very good now. I can repay my remaining loan. To celebrate this, I'm inviting the boogie knights to perform. They play music wearing shiny armors. And look at the firework! What a performance! I should plan the jousting tournament end of this school year. Winning the tournament is one checkbox to get to two star. Recommended student level is 12. Let's see how our students perform. We win the first round. Those with the crown icon above their heads are our opponents. Here we beat our second opponent. Somehow before the third round takes place, the tournament ends. The important thing is we won. This year we win the contribution to research award for the first time. Great thanks to Alexa who poured her heart and soul into research. As we welcome more students into our campus, we need more indoor space as well. That's why I reposition our battlegrounds and jousting fields to this side, so that I can construct a campus building here. This new building will contain a big dorm, two medical offices, a shower room, a bathroom, and a staff room. The old building now has some extra space. I can fit a second private tuition room and another lecture theater. This year, we are entering the comfortable phase of this playthrough, as we are making a sweet amount of money. We can focus on watching romances develop in the campus. Dragon Tower has been unlocked by research. It's quite an interesting building. A dragon obviously lives here, and its favorite activity is to spit fire. Soon, we come to our fifth year. We have enough students on campus to take off a two-star requirement. And when we have enough money, all that is left is for us to do the right thing at the right time. This year, we win the jousting tournament for the third time, meaning we are now a two-star campus. The grand joust event is unlocked. We need to win that next. It's something for level 15 students. And while Bloodguard has sent seven invaders, Fortunately, our janitors managed to remove them before time runs out, another 10,000 income. We expand further and now our campus has three jousting fields and four battlegrounds. It is becoming a well-established night school. The criteria to hit three star are not so difficult. We will get there. The grand joust is taking place, and without a doubt, we won! Good job! By the end of the sixth year, we reach campus level 20 and have enough 8th grade night school students graduates. We are a 3-star campus! Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the game. Stay tuned and enjoy 2-point campus. See you next time. Take care!